The Arizona Constitution created the commission, charged it with setting just and reasonable rates for public service corporations, monopolies like APS. Our Constitution not only empowers the commission to set just and reasonable rates, it requires the commission to do so. Indeed, our Supreme Court has held that in setting these rates, the commission must balance the interests of the company and its customers, stating that the effect of the rate upon persons to whom services are rendered is as deep a concern in the fixing thereof as is the effect upon the stockholders or bondholders. A reasonable rate is one which is as fair as possible to all those whose interests are involved. The interests of public service corporation stockholders must not be permitted to overshadow those of the public service. When the Commission issued Decision 76295 approving the rates of the Seventh Agreement, the estimated bill impact on APS's residential customers was considered by the Commission in making its determination that those rates would be just and reasonable. According to the settlement agreement, under the new rates, residential customers will have, on average, a 4.54% bill impact, meaning that the real-life bill impact of the new rates on actual residential customers was expected to at least resemble the 4.54 estimated bill impact. The actual average bill impact experienced by Ms. Champion and thousands of other APS customers has been significantly greater than the projected 4 0.54%. Arizona statutes allow the customers of these monopolies to challenge the reasonableness of the utilities' rates and charges, which is what Ms. Champion has done through her complaint, along with the thousands of other APS customers who have signed her petition. We believe that the evidence will show that the bill impact assumption in the settlement agreement does not resemble the reality that residential ratepayers are experiencing and the actual average impact on residential customers' bills is significantly higher, resulting in a windfall for the monopoly utility at the ratepayer's expense. <clears throat> because the Commission concluded that the settlement agreement's rates are just and reasonable based on an estimated residential bill impact that grossly understated the actual bill impact on residential customers' bills and the APS's revenue, the balance struck by the Commission between the interests of the ratepayers on one hand and the interests of the utility on the other has tipped in the monopoly's favor. This is not fair to APS ratepayers. These rates cannot be said to be just and reasonable or in the public interest. Instead, they are unreasonable. Therefore, Ms. Champin is asking that decision 76295 that adopted the rates in the settlement agreement be rescinded and a full-scale rate hearing be held on APS original at rate application. What's your name and who you are? My name is Adam Stafford. I'm the attorney for uh, Ms. Champion. Spell Stafford, S T A F F O R D. Um, good morning. My name is Stacy Champion, S T A C E Y C H A L P I O N. Um, this has been a very long journey for me. Uh, I started a petition back in December of last year after noticing on my own energy bills. Um, I was using both less on and off peak power, but my bills seemed to be much higher and started paying attention, decided to start the petition after reading an article about this statute that allows for 25 APS customers to uh, file a complaint. And uh, to date, more than 7,000 people have signed that petition. There are numerous comments and complaints both on the petition as well as filed into our docket. Um, I didn't really probably understand the magnitude of how large this project would be when I took it on of uh, going up against a multi-billion dollar utility monopoly, yet here we are uh, 10 months later, the hearing is starting today, it's expected to last three days and uh, I have heard from so many people across the state who are being really severely impacted by this rate hike. Of people having to make the choice between buying groceries or paying their power bill. Uh, seniors having to make the choice between buying needed medication or paying their power bill. And in a state where there are over a million 
people living well below the federal poverty guidelines in a state where 24% of our children are food insecure. You have a CEO who is making a million dollars or close to that every single month and a utility monopoly who made a statement to the public, to the press, as did the Arizona Corporation Commission, saying that the average impact all of these people would see would be $6 a month. And from the thousands of people who've signed the petition, from the hundreds of people who personally reached out to me, that statement is just not based in reality. And I hope that over this hearing, uh, our expert can show that as being the truth. And we would ask the corporation commissioners to do the job that they were elected by the public to do and look out for the best interests of the people of our state, not the utility monopoly who they are supposed to be regulating. Thank you very much. So will you be testifying up there? I will not be testifying. Um, our expert is testifying because this is really about showing, showing the, for lack of a better word, showing the shell game. And I, uh, I'm a word person. I am absolutely not a number person. All of this stuff is extremely complex, I believe, by design, really. Um, so I, I, will, I will be there. I started it. Uh, I'm going to finish it. And uh, hopefully, hopefully everyone will, will understand the complexities and, and what uh, the, the massive amount of time and effort that our expert has put into the countless data requests and, um, and, and work that's gone into this over, over all these months. How long has this been going on? I started the petition back in December. Were you surprised you got 7,000? Not, no, not really, um, especially, you know, every, every bit of, of news coverage has caused both my email to blow up and my phone to ring, and I've heard stories from folks that make me cry. I mean, it's, it's, it's really, really hurting people. Um, and so we're here, I'm here, to basically say it's time to stop the APS greed. Best case scenario, worst case scenario from these hearings? Best case scenario, uh, the, the judge finds that we have um, proven, proven our point that there, there were not enough or the proper questions asked on the front end of this, and the whole thing gets pushed to a do-over. Obviously, the, the commissioners are going to play a big role in that as well. And as we've seen from uh, the money that APS has invested in a lot of their campaigns, et cetera, et cetera, it'll be interesting to see if, if these elected officials remember at the end of the day that they're supposed to be public servants.